But I saw a lot of hope today. As the district attorney said, this is the first time another officer has decided to be a government witness and testify against another officer. That's what policing is. That's the kind of officers that make these streets safe, that stop instances like this from happening. When you're willing to step up and say that was wrong, even if that's going to risk my career, even if people won't like me and other officers will be angry, that's the reason that I always say not every single officer is out there trying to kill somebody. But we're also not going to play that rhetoric uh, game that y'all saw today of all officers are great. No, we've seen what has happened. It's the same assumption that we don't want officers making about black people, that all people are from the ghetto, that all people are hood, that all of us are up to no good, that you need to search every young black male that you see, which, le which leads to situations like this. It's both assumptions. So are we watching all these policies that directly affect families like this? All these arguments, Democrats versus Republicans, all of this ridiculousness, and they're not starting from step one. How do we actually fix this and not what's best for your political party? Because the things I saw today, we're going to be back here next year. What's the point of national collection of data if the data is flawed? We have handled cases where the internal affairs reports aren't taken properly. So you'll be collecting data that is nonsensical and doesn't hold officers accountable unless you fix the department internal affairs first. But they don't want reality. They want policies and elections. And that's fine, but we'll end up here again. So was this justice today? Not yet. We still don't have a definition for it. It was more heartache that families have to go through this and fight the public to try and get justice for a man that was shot in the back twice. But we do thank everybody in this country for the outpouring of support, uh, the people that are marching for change peacefully, um, keeping his name alive positively. Um, and maybe one day this country will get it right uh, with policing and we'll all come together.